So, greetings from the eccentric man, and welcome to uh, another video. Uh, things have been slightly chaotic and uh, odd round the house lately. We uh, we sadly had the the death of our uh, one of our dogs, which uh, took up a bit of time, which was a bit sad. Uh, and then the following weekend, uh, lo and behold, I had to go and collect two dogs from a family uh, because the uh, one of the owners had uh, sadly got very close to death and in fact died two days after I collected them, which was very sad. Uh, I had them in the house so they took up some time uh, and now just been informed that our conservatory where I do my painting is going to be knocked down next week and the new one started on. So uh, all my bits and pieces from in here, <sighs> my boxes, everything else underneath and a table of clutter uh, and everything else what a what a shambles has got to go however the uh, little update today is uh, what I've been working on and that's my East African army for bolt action so if you've been following my videos I've uh, mentioned where I got the idea for this army and that was from an article by Maurice Ziffenbrunner who was a uh, chap whose parents were born in... He was born in Poland, his parents moved to Germany, and then 38, 39, with the problems with the Jews, for the Jews in Germany, uh, his family, the mother and daughter, were sent to uh, the concentration camps. His father was split up. He managed to escape, and he joined... Uh, the British Army in Palestine because he managed to get there he ends up in France evacuated through Dunkirk and then joined the commandos and he gives an account of the Battle of Keren where he was wounded but he was fighting alongside what he called were the Gurkhas so that started me looking at the Battle of Keren because that was a nice idea of what infantry I can use and what vehicles. So the Battle of Keren was in February 1941 in Eritrea. The start of it was the Gazelle Force, which was B Squadron of the 4th Royal Tank Regiment, their Matildas, and the Skinner's Light Horse, which was an Indian reconnaissance unit. Uh, they were either using, probably using, the uh, Indian pattern carriers, but uh, I haven't got £40 to spend on two of those so I'm making do with the Bren carriers so uh, they did use the Bren carriers but uh, mostly it was the Indian patterns but uh, so I've got the Skinner's light horse which I've got an armoured car in the armoured car slot is the Bren carrier so that's got an LMG and an anti-tank rifle boys anti-tank rifle um, so it's based on the Commonwealth Army it's an Indian infantry division the 5th Indian infantry division the Ball of Fire is their nickname, and uh, that's what I've gone for. So within it, uh, I've got a second lieutenant with his uh, Batman. I've got two units of eight uh, with the LMG. The rest of them are rifles. They're my Sikhs with the turbans. Um, in the list that I can run with the Gurkhas, I've got a unit of eight Gurkhas, uh, and then I've got a unit of five Commandos. I've got a Bren carrier to carry the commandos and a truck that is going to be the uh, transport for the Gurkhas. Uh, I have a medium mortar and a light howitzer, the 25 pounder, which doubles up as an anti tank gun. So that's about a thousand points. Now, if I call it an Indian army from Dueling the Sun, I lose the British traits but take, uh, it's a re-roll of failed morale tests and a free unit of 10 regular infantry. So I could go that route. I could go the normal route of just having it as a British army and I can have the preliminary bombardment, um, preparatory bombardment boost, the free artillery observer and uh, one of the national characteristics which I normally take up an atom which gives me the uh, ignore, 
ignore pins when I want to charge. Or, looking at the Western Desert, the new book, I can just go for bog standard regular infantry throughout and one unit of Royal Engineers, which is a new unit, veterans, and they can have a flamethrower. If I take that, I don't have the Gurkhas, don't have the Commandos, but I again get the 10-man free infantry regiment, uh, infantry section, but I also get to have the free artillery observer and the additional dice for the prep bombardment, but I lose, I can take either a British one or I can take the Indian one, which I would then have the extra 10-man squad and the re-roll failed morale. So that's very interesting, uh, and I'm going to try that list uh, in a battle report very soon. So that's the uh, the army. It's the, uh, as I say, it's the East African army the uh, of the British Commonwealth, and it was in the Indian 5th Infantry Division, and that's what I'm going to be using. So, Gurkhas. I've used the plastic off of the new sprue, but they don't have any Gurkha weapons. So, I've been whittling away on some old fantasy swords, and what I've done is I've come up with my own version of the Kuriki, or the Cookery, and... Uh, that's my basic start to them, and I'll uh, paint them up so it, it looks like they've got big knives, and uh, people will now be able to make a good idea that they must be the Gurkhas. So uh, I thought it was quite uh, quite reasonable, and I think once I've painted them, they'll uh, they'll look okay. So anybody else get the new box set of the British Warlord Eighth uh, Infantry, and you can get yourself some Gurkhas. Uh, so yeah, quite pleased with how they come out. To finish off, so uh, I've got a few pictures, well I've got a picture of my uh, Matilda in work in progress and also my Bren carrier, one of them I've done too, and the truck. You can see that I've uh, done a little bit of conversion on the heads of the uh, people in the Bren carrier and on the truck uh, by putting on the, the turban heads from the sprue in the new box set. Uh, to give us some idea, I've gone. I've, I've had to buy two boxes of the Eighth Army uh, to do the figures that I wanted to do, but they've all come out, which was really good. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to giving them a run. I've got to try and work out what I'm going to do with them, on which list I'm going to go with, either the uh, generic Lightfoot, or the Jewel in the Sun, or the Western Desert. But anyway, uh, we'll try them out uh, on the way. We've got our own tournament, November Pain, coming up. And I've got the Warlord GT coming up on the 24th of uh, November. And uh, if you're going, put your name down on the uh, comments section and let me know. And uh, we can say hi. Um, so, I hope you liked it. Uh, share with your friends if you think they might like it. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Subscribe if you haven't because there's going to be more stuff coming. And um, take care. And we'll... Uh, See you in the next video, which should be a battle report.